that I'm going to start over again. And so he told Noah, I want you to, there will be great rains coming. I've never heard the word rain. And I want you to build this great boat that will carry you and your family. And, and, and two of every kind. A boat. There had never been a boat. Yet the Bible says that Noah got to it. He began to build that ark. And at the moment that he had completed it, the rains came and Noah was spared. Because he bet his life on God. And God's word, on God's warning, on God's guidance. And that's what faith is. Faith is believing that what I am holding on to is going to get me through this day. It's going to get me through this week. So how do we develop that type of faith? How do we develop a type of faith like Abraham, like Noah, like all the great people that we find in the book of Hebrews? If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Kings chapter 5. We're going to look at verses 1 through 20. In 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 20, there is a story of a man. A man that began with little to no faith in God, but by the end of his story, he is fully developed into a follower of God. Passionately. Behind God in all the ways. He is so thankful that, that, he, that he wants to worship God back through his homeland. His name is Naaman. Naaman is... The, the, the type of man, uh, the, the type of success that we would find today in, in, in an actor like George Clooney or, or Robert Redford or in an athlete like Jevron James or, or, you know, any popular, famous, powerful, a leader of leaders, the best of the best, except name and develop a problem. The problem was leprosy. Back then, leprosy was a cruel, cruel disease. You die from it. There was no cure for it. Today, since 1940, I believe 42, there, there's a cure for leprosy. It can, it can be remedied. But back then, if you had leprosy, you were an outcast. You were doomed to a death, and not a pretty death. Your limbs fell 